got a Q&A here. We got a bunch of questions from people. Uh, so we figured we'd answer them. And why not do it in front of cool. Graffiti Bridge? Graffiti Bridge! First question. First question is, how old are you? You both look fairly young. Thank you. Thank you very much. But I've heard y'all say you're older. How old? Old as dirt. Oh, like dirt. <laughs> We're like old, dinosaur man. We've been around. Dirt. I'm 42? And I'm 47. We've been around some, man. A little bit. Not quite as ancient as some, but ancienter than others. I was born in the late 60s. She was born in the early 70s. That's yes. how we roll. Yes. Did y'all move? Where do y'all live? Yes! We moved to beautiful Florida. We don't live in Texas anymore. We used to live in Rockport. We started out when we met. We were in San Antonio, Texas on Lake Medina. So we moved to Rockport. Um, we were there for three years. And then we made the move to uh, Pensacola, Florida. Life gave us an opportunity and we snatched that booger right up and ran with it. And we're having a blast. You all? Yeah. Oh. What do y'all do for fun other than fish? <laughs> well, for fun, we love the fish. We fish a lot. That's not the question was what do you do other than fish? Other than fishing my fish, <laughs> to be quite honest. All he likes is fish. Maybe. Yeah. Sometimes on my day off, all I want to do is fish. But he has a problem, doesn't he? The more I do it, if I go out three mornings, I, on the fourth morning, I'm like, if I'm not out there, something's going to happen. I need, really need to be there. So the more I fish, the more I want to fish. What was that? <laughs> Blowing up on bait you right there. You didn't bring the rods. No, I didn't. Why? Why did you bring the rock? See what What's I'm talking about? We're not you? supposed to be fishing right now. We're fishing. Ah, oh, it's blowing up bait right there. All right, look out for the graffiti bridge episode. <laughs> what do y'all do for fun other than fish? I love to bow hunt in the winter. Teresa shoots her bow. We really like gardening now that we have some land. We like tilling up the soil. We like, shh, where we shoot the bows. I already said we shoot the bows. <laughs> and we like take care of the yard, mowing and branches and day to day we watch Netflix we cook we hang out in the pool to unwind we kind of just veg we don't really film anything sunglasses are you sponsored how do you pick them well there you go we are sponsored by <laughs> the company is no one. We deal with no sunglass people. And we like it. We get to pick yeah, random. Yeah. These are super cool. I picked these out. They're by Native. Um, I picked them out. What do we look for in sunglasses, Teresa? I like to look for color for tie, splash of color. And then I like to look for, for me, just something that, you know, if it's everyday wear, it's a little bigger. If it's out on the water, it's super small to fit underneath my hat. But all of them, all of these sunglasses, those included, are polarized and that is crucial on the water. Uh, polarization allows you to see into the water. It cuts the refraction, of, I think it's called refraction. Oh, refraction is We're like, not scientific. it cuts the glare off the water the and fish. you can see fish underwater and you'll have somebody standing next to you without a pair of polarized glasses saying, where is it at? It's right there, look at that big old red fish. Polarization makes a massive difference. Don't come down to the coast, any coast, without polar, polarized glasses. You stop at Walmart and pick up a pair of $4.99 Yums. Yeah. You, they're cheap, but polarization, you know, it makes a massive difference. You just flushed up a dub, Sasquatch. This is an age-old question. This one just keeps coming up. What is it? Who catches more fish? Seems like Teresa has got your number, Ty. She does have my number programmed in her phone. Yeah, it's under Ty, my love. Oh, look, some Outbacks being loaded in. Oh, I feel like fishing. It evens out in the wash. Some days you kick my butt, other days I kick your butt. Yeah, it just depends on the day. Sometimes she's in the zone, sometimes I'm in the zone. And once you kind of get in the zone and get something dialed in, then you kind of stay there and then you kind of tend to catch them. And the other person's still trying to dial them in. If catching something, hey, hey. You throw them on top of water, I'm catching them on bottom on go. Keep bumping the bottom and then we'll switch. So yeah. it's just trying to find them in the water column, trying to find what they want. And then we help each other out, but sometimes she's just dialed in and I can't do nothing about it. What else we got? The last one is... Are we going to bow hunt this year? Something like that. Well, yes, I plan on bow hunting this year. We're going to try. Um, if you, I used, we used to have a channel called Aerosling and TV. It's still there. Still there, yeah. So we're going to hunt around the house this year, I think, and keep it simple since we're new to Florida. Don't have a lot of contacts trying to figure out what's going on. So that's our off-season stuff. It's a distraction from fishing and it's a lot of fun. 
love shooting the bows just for fun too so all right well there you go there's your q a for today and uh keep on asking and we'll keep on answering what hey we got josh and ricky here at the boat launch while we're trying to do this q a they're busy fishing that's making us feel bad the big reds are supposed to be in this time of year so we're going to see what's dragging around out there oh, nice so the bulls are moving in yeah september october they get so heavy. are y'all hitting the bridge at night yeah that's when it really calms down normally yeah so. yeah i tried last night it was sketchy man. it was rough yeah it's hit or miss but when it's glass out there it's glass yeah where the old fishing bridge was yeah there's a couple of pillars marked out there where the old structure is and you can uh they school into that structure and you'll lose an anchor if you ain't careful but right. there's some good piles out there that usually sit on well i appreciate the info man how you like that outback oh man i'm loving it i got the first of this year and it's uh <laughs> it's way different from paddling yeah, get man. a lot more done outback's all the way to roll man appreciate, appreciate it man yeah good luck out there yes, nail a bull red y'all take care it, man. all right guys Hey, thanks a lot for all the questions, y'all. Y'all keep asking, and we'll keep answering. This was a blast. And that's how you cool down on Palfax Street, Pensacola. Can't forget my socks, people. We'll see y'all next time. Later!